Skibbity Bop Bop. It's me, Craig. Welcome to the third episode of Craig Goes to Somewhere. This time around, we're going to be heading straight back to Seattle. PAX 2021 is around the corner, and I'm here on my first day. Come on, let's take a look. So, just to clear things up, there was supposed to be like a PAX last year, but because of the pandemic, PAX didn't happen. But unlike this year, this year we got it, but we still have to go through some laws and guidelines and all the other stuff like that. So, what was different from this year from the last couple PAX visits? Well, obviously, the place was barren. And yes, I understand why. So, I took this experience with a spoon of salt knowing that there won't be as much. From the extreme lack of vendors to the technical problems and delays in the arena, it just wasn't worth it like the last visit. As soon as I walked into the expo hall, I realized it. And as mentioned before, it was barren. In fact, it was so barren, if I took a picture of a barren spot at the convention center and photoshopped a ball pit, and I asked you, is this PAX 2021 or DashCon? You'd be surprised I'm able to use Photoshop. But, uh, enough self-burns, let's get on with the show. The indie developers really try their hardest to carry out this convention, but they just aren't able to do it themselves this year because usually big developers like Nintendo and Xbox, for example, are usually the headliners. None of the big vendors mentioned were there because they can afford to miss events like this in a time of a crisis. But for indie developers, this is their one of their biggest shots to get their games in front of many players. And they did but they just weren't able to piece together what was missing from this event. But that's just me though. At least they did their best and I enjoyed the company as well. Well, Bandai Namco showed up and this is also just me again, but there wasn't a lot of good panels or merch when I visited. Well, some went to other places, but I mostly stuck around for the games and all the other stuff like that. So if you're into other stuff like dice, mouse pads and marketable plushies, Good for you, because those were pretty much the only things that they sold over there. I mean, if you want to get some of the copies of the game that they were selling, go ahead, but that was a low chance. You know, you know, honestly, it would be really nice if Longboy kind of, you know, came along. But, uh, unlike last time, I kind of didn't ask anybody, so I did ask everybody, including Longboy, and well... Have you learned nothing, you sad blob... Did you learn nothing what happened from the last two years ago? Ah, <sighs> long boy. How many times have I told you already? I already asked like a whole bunch of other people to see if they wanted to hang out with me, but apparently they have other things to do over the weekends. And some rejected. Oh really? Who else did you ask? Hmm, let's see. If I remember, Trish is sort of anti-vax and she's... Yeah, she's really highly against this whole passports and all the other whatnot, so she refused to go. Also, she's not much of a gamer. And Bonaparte is kind of busy on the other hand. He said he's making some sort of account and he's going to show off his body for money. I don't know what that means, but I don't like the sound of it. But it's his body, so it's his choice. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, okay. 
But, uh, um, actually, I really don't know what to say. Also, didn't you say, like, over the weekend you're going over to Vancouver because someone was getting married? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's my sister. She's getting married. So, I just want to be over there and, you know, be with her at her most happiest moment of them all. Okay, then. You just go over to Vancouver, and I'm just gonna go to Vax. I mean, Pax. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I'm get my mind's kind of not not right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey guys. So, uh, I'm here to uh, you know, borrow this room if anybody wants to ask. Uh, Bonaparte, what are you doing? Ugh. Mother always said that I have. A very beautiful body. Also, I think it is time to show you what I really mean. Behold, my elegance and muscles. And I think I'm going to uh, go to bed. But it, it's like... I know, I know, it's like 6.30. Uh, look, I need to catch the bus, okay? Uh, bye. Um... Let's just say, some things were never meant to be spoken. At all. You know, I was supposed to, you know, expect a lot of people, but, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. There's not a lot of people here, some people decide not to come. <sighs> it's not the same as it used to be anymore. I'm pretty sure next year things could be a little better if they bothered to open up, but who knows. You know, I don't usually play a lot of indie games. I've been growing up with a lot of games that are from main, first party, third party games and all the other stuff like that, but I never really gave much a chance. But I learned something over there at PAX, and there were some indie games that were actually pretty fun. At the end of the day, as long as it's a game, and it's fun, and you can play with anybody, that's what matters. That and graphics, especially you game freak. I expect it better from a billion dollar company that lasts over 20 years. During my long, long walk of seeing what are the kind of things I should look for, I managed to discover Rivals of Ether. For those of you who don't know what Rivals of Ether is, it's basically a popular hit indie game set in a world where civilizations wage war by summoning the power of fire, water, air, and earth. Choose a rival to bring into the battlefield and manipulate the powers of the classical elements and animal movements. It's actually a pretty fun game myself. Believe it or not, it was actually a really fun game. In fact, I even managed to snag a copy of the game. Oh, and uh, right here is uh, one of the characters I mean. I got into second place, twice. Yeah, sure, it was a unusual game, but it still played similar to Smash. But practice is perfect, or something like that. Look, you should really play this game. I'm not like saying that this is completely sponsored by them, but come on, give them a shot. It's really worth it. If I can like it, so can you. Boring stuff only. Boo. Nonetheless, I have to say anything about that. Okay, I'll make level 3 fun. Sometimes I doubt myself. I thought I was gonna make this room livid. I wanna swallow a foot long. I think there's a subway nearby. 
Well, if you manage to take a look around, you can see I got some uh, really interesting stuff from PAX. Got like a spend a hundred dollars on some stuff. Got some cool swag. I'm not sure people can say that anymore. Uh, copy arrivals of Ether. Got a plush to my new main. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Like I said, this year's PAX doesn't have really much, but it still has something worth looking forward to. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here on Saturday, but Sunday I'll be going. So it's day one of two. So I don't have to end it like this. So uh, I guess I'll just be heading out. Probably get some subway footlongs. And probably be heading back. So uh, this is the end of day one. Bye. Hey, 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 everyone. It's Sunday. You know what that means. It's uh, pretty much my last day here. Because I only got like... No, well, this is currently day two of PAX. And uh, it's currently 10. A lot of people are start coming in. Waiting line was like 30 minutes. My legs were a bit sore, but uh, let's see what we got today. Now how do I turn this thing camera off? Hey there everyone, this is the Magic of Gathering tournament area. This is where usually a lot of people come and play some card games or board games. I could have sworn I was supposed to meet someone here, but I don't know if they'll be here. I kind of hired someone to help me out to be a player too. Hope oh, they're not busy. <laughs> Is that who I think it is? <sighs> okay, I gotta stay calm. I never thought I'd be meeting him in real life, but uh, he's here. <sighs> so, uh, are there any games you want to play? Ow, ow, ow! Um, there's a Super Mario Party tournament, or uh, we could play Rivals of Ether. What, what would you like? Hey, Dad! Mwah! Ow, ow, ow! Yeah! Wah! Yeah! You know, uh, there is a PC tournament somewhere in the other room. I think it's called World of Wah Crap. Get it? Because it's something they usually say. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, C come back! Uh, uh, never meet your heroes, I guess. Cat theater, huh? Ooh, I might get to see some actual cats. I can't believe I was alive, too. It was supposed to be a cat theater, but there are no cats. Why didn't call it cat theater if there are no cats? That doesn't make any sense. Well, as of right now, it's like nearly 4 o'clock. There hasn't been anything major or what's going on here. Well, I mean, nothing really changed from Friday to Sunday. So, uh, I could probably head back home early, but I want to see if there's any last minute things to do before I head out. I hope Longboy has a, having a good vacation in Vancouver. I wonder how the marriage is turning out. <laughs> This is Craig, and right here I'm at the Rivals of Ether booth at PAX. However, oh, check these out. Oh, come on, you two. Hey, come on. These are the devs that work here, and I'm gonna do a 1v1 with one of them. So, uh, excuse me, you there? You there? Yep. Uh, come on over here. Yes. So, uh, are we ready to fight? Sure. Yeah, I've been practicing all Saturday. That's why I didn't came. I'll do my best. Okay.
need to nerf this character. <laughs> well, looks like our day has come to an end, especially ours. Because I'm unable to go on Monday, this is where I come to say that this video is pretty much almost done. A lot of people are going down. It's uh, already six, and that means I must go as well. But tune in next time to Craig Goes To Somewhere. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and uh, subscribe and something down there. I don't know. Mobile users are weird. But anyways, uh, see you next time. Hello? Hello? Hmm. I guess nobody's here. Huh? It looks like Longboy left me a note. Let's see. What does this say? Dear Craig, Hey, it's me, Longboy. So, uh, if you happen to read this, then that means my wedding, well, my sister's wedding got kind of got cancelled. There was a ex-boyfriend that she actually had who she cheated on, and then he shot up the wedding and I had to make a run for it back home. I hope you managed to get something at over there at Seattle. And, uh, Greg, I can't read that part, but, uh, Bonaparte made the shelves over the weekend. Dang, that's actually pretty good. So, uh, we prepared you with a little snack in case if you get hungry when you get back. See ya first thing tomorrow morning, long boy. Hmm. Ugh. Hmm. If long boy and Bonaparte are not here, then I guess it's okay for you to come out, I guess. Come on out. Uh, okay, um, Claren, is it? Okay, so, um, back on the bus, you told me that you're from the future and you want to change something in the present. Is that right? Hmm, that sounds familiar. Really familiar. I swear, it's like, you sound really familiar, but I just don't know who. But anyways, you know what? I guess I do have a lot of free time now, so I guess I can kind of help you out. So, what do you say? Nice. You know, all this time traveling and all this stuff probably made you hungry. Come on, I'll go make you a snack. So, are you coming or what? Well, well, well. Looks like she managed to escape and go into the present time. Not for long. What's even worse, she managed to team up with Craig. It looks like I'm gonna have to not only kill her, but to execute Craig as well. <sighs> Why was I sent here? Of all things, the Emperor had to send over. Why me of all people? Ah. Uh, Oh well, I guess I'll- OWIE! What was that? Huh? Something must be in his bag. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, Craig.